Hi, I'm Jason, and welcome to Dosatron University. Today, Dosatron's troubleshooting video series features the Dosatron D8 RE3000 40 GPM injector. In this video, I will use a strap wrench, needle nose pliers, and a utility knife. The three key areas in troubleshooting are, one, the injector is clicking but not drawing the concentrate, two, the injector is clicking but is pushing water down into the concentrate tank, three, the injector is not clicking or stalling at low flow. The first two are the most common. It's best to perform troubleshooting in a clean area, or if your dosatron is in line, cover your concentrate tank so you won't lose any of the parts. Part one. If your dosatron is clicking but not drawing the concentrate, it could be as simple as the strainer is plugged with debris. Take a look at the strainer. If it is clogged, just clean it and retest your dosatron unit. If there is no suction, unscrew and remove the hose nut. Slide the ferrule back and cut a half inch off the top of the hose. Reposition the ferrule like this. Then insert the hose back into the barb and hand tighten the nut. By the way, if the hose is cracked or looks really old, just replace it now. After you reinstall the suction hose, you should start to see the liquid begin moving up the hose. If the liquid is not moving up the hose after a minute or so, just turn the water off. Press the air bleed button on the bell housing a few times to release the pressure. To continue, unscrew the suction hose nut once more and set the hose aside. Unscrew the injection stem nut and remove. Then pull the injection stem straight out of the injector's body and set aside. Take a close look at the plunger rod and seal. Make sure the rod is straight and that the seal is free of nicks, scratches, or wear. If the plunger or seal is damaged, or you don't remember the last time you changed it, just replace the plunger assembly now. To remove the beige plunger, pull it down as far as it will go. Position the needle nose pliers near the top of the plunger and carefully twist it a quarter turn counterclockwise and disconnect. To install the new plunger assembly, use the needle nose pliers to align the top of the plunger with the retainer. Then twist it a quarter turn clockwise to lock. Grab the injection stem assembly and carefully slide it onto the plunger like this. Align the notches on the lower part of the blue body with the teeth on the top of the injection stem assembly. Slide the two parts together and hand tighten the injection stem nut. Now slide the hose into the barb and hand tighten the nut. Pull on the hose to make sure it's connected securely. If it comes off easily, you may need to cut another half inch off, reset the ferrule and reattach the nut. Test the unit by slowly turning the water on. The unit should now begin drawing the concentrate. Part two, if your injector is pushing water down into the concentrate tank, it's time to investigate the check valve. To do this, remove the hose nut and set it aside. Unscrew and remove the check valve nut. Grasp the white threaded barb and pull the check valve assembly straight out. It might come out in two pieces. Set the unit aside. To inspect the check valve, carefully lift the cone from the retainer and look at the bottom side of the cone as shown. Then carefully lift the retainer from the seal like this. You are checking to see if there is anything lodged or stuck. Do not try to remove the spring. But if the spring is deformed or stretched, the complete assembly must be replaced. If you see damage or don't remember the last time you changed these parts, just replace them now. To reassemble, place the new check valve assembly into the top of the barb. Reinstall the check valve and check valve nut, hand tight. Now slide the hose onto the barb and hand tighten the nut. Afterwards, pull on the hose to make sure it is connected securely. If it comes off easily, you may need to cut another half inch off, reset the ferrule and reattach the nut. This should stop the water from going back into the concentrate tank. Part three, if the injector isn't clicking or stalling at low flow, we need to investigate the piston. Turn the water off and press the air bleed button a few times to release the pressure. Use the strap wrench to loosen the bell housing. Then unscrew, remove and set it aside. Grasp the white plastic bridge on the top of the piston and pull it straight out. Holding the piston, press the push rod up and down. It should click in both directions. If not, please give us a call for assistance. Or check out the D8 piston shell and actuator assembly replacement service video. Next, visually inspect the upper and lower flanges on the piston shell. If they are worn or have deep scratches, the piston shell needs to be replaced. Another way to check the flanges is by doing a fit test. To test the upper flange, invert the piston and insert it squarely halfway into the blue bell housing. It should stay in place. To test the lower flange, use the needle nose pliers to twist the plunger counterclockwise and remove. Then insert the piston squarely into the body about halfway. It should stay in place. 
If either is loose, the piston shell needs to be replaced. For assistance in replacing the piston shell, please contact Dosatron Technical Service at 1-800-523-8499 or check out the D8 Piston Shell and Actuator Assembly Replacement Service video. Reattach the plunger using the needle nose pliers by aligning the top of the plunger with the retainer. Twist the plunger clockwise to lock. Place the piston back into the body and reinstall the blue bell housing hand tight. We hope this video has been helpful in troubleshooting your Dosatron D8 RE3000 40 GPM injector. For more information, please call us at 1-800-523-8499 or visit us online at dosatronusa.com. To see our other videos, check out our YouTube channel. I'm Jason at Dosatron University. Thanks for watching.